how to feel. What? Your first victim, the real one. Do you think you're being funny? I'm only trying to get down to the business. You want to know how it feels? I'll tell you. It feels like the middle of space, alone, floating, driving late at night on a deserted road, headed directly into a perfect dark that somehow gets darker. And the road, and the woods, and the sky, all roll up together into a huge gateway that's always opening. Just opening as you get there. And the feeling of the steering wheel and the dashboard it's so familiar. So owned by you. And the girl, the victim, is in the seat beside you. And you are more alone than if she weren't there. You understand? You know, a lot of people try to deny this, but I feel we can be honest here. Don't you? She owes you her breath. It's not hers anymore. From the moment she trusted you. From the moment she failed to protect herself. You don't want her to breathe. It gets to you at any point. Well, what do you do? Dan. You, you kill her. It's logic. And then you get out of the car and you stand on the road in the absolute dark and you feel a silence, a stillness. And it sounds better to you than any human voice you ever heard. And you can't remember your own voice. Or that you ever had one. And then you think about that body. And the clothes still on it. And the bag on the floor of the car. And the things in that bag. And you decide what you want to keep and what you want to throw away. You open the car door and you go through that bag and you go through those clothes and through that body and anything you want is yours. You print that. That's what they want to read. <laughs>